On January 28, 2025, Brigadier General Christian Pattinson-Hagen told the Space Mobility Conference in Orlando, Florida, that the U.S. Space Force is planning 18 launches under its current NSSL Phase II program in 2025, along with four small launches carrying payloads less than 400 pounds, which immediately made me skeptical because it didn't line up with past numbers nor seem to be realistic. There are two contractors in Phase II. The United Launch Alliance, ULA, a partnership between Boeing and Lockheed Martin, and SpaceX. So far, there have been five launches of NSSL missions completed for Phase 2, one in 2023, and four in 2024. These missions are also often referred to as NROL missions. So 18 or 22 missions, depending on how you count them, is more than exponential growth, which would be 16. Also, if you look through the mission awards for the four small payloads, all those missions are SpaceX missions. The original plan for Phase 2 was a 60-40 split between ULA and SpaceX, but awards in later contracts were more like 50-50, with the lack of readiness and maturity of ULA programs being cited as the reasoning. So interestingly, if you count all 22 missions out of the 48, that's a 54-46 split. But if you exclude an apparently arbitrary cutoff like 400 pounds, then the 18 missions announced end up being a 60-40 split. As of the end of 2024, ULA had completed one mission and SpaceX had completed four. The one mission that ULA did fly used old Atlas V rockets with Russian engines that are now sanctioned rather than ULA's much-delayed Vulcan rocket. The Vulcan rocket has now flown twice and is expected to be certified in the first quarter of 2025. This certification appears like it will be completed despite what ULA's CEO, in some creative doublespeak, described as an observation. What we observed was a rocket nozzle falling off the rocket in mid-flight. However, the payload did reach the designated orbit. So once the certification is complete, ULA will have to launch 11 rockets in 10 months in order to meet its goal. No one that I've seen reporting on this believes that that will actually happen. And even if they do hit their target of 11 launches, ULA will still have a backlog of seven missions, which in a rare development last year, the Space Force publicly started criticizing. New rockets get delayed all the time, and that's understandable. But ULA is prioritizing more recent commercial payloads, such as the Amazon Kuiper Constellation, over government contracts. The awards for Phase 3 launches are expected soon, and there is a lot of worry that ULA will continue to get these contracts due to strong lobbying rather than actual performance.